for today. Um, the one that we invited is Shai. That's her name, okay? So you just say hello to her <laughs> later. She is a startup entrepreneur and writer based here in Manila. She started with her digital career as a blogger and influencer when she launched her own website where she featured brand reviews, fashion look books, and some literary works. Okay, at present, Shai is also handling... Okay, nawala ako dun sa script. Handling a couple of projects as digital strategists. Okay, so maybe you can ask her more about that also later, no? Um, we will have a question and answer portion naman. She's a digital strategist and business development consultant. Her current works include Alike Digital, Fincom for Marino, and Walk in Roll, among others. She is also into volunteer work and an ardent advocate for free education in the Philippines. Okay, so I'm sure we're, it's, it's a really um, vast uh, background, and I hope that we all get to learn from her today. Are you excited for that? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, so let's all welcome Shai. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are we all alive? Yes. Yes. I know it's a little at this moment because after lunch, hapon. But again, thank you for coming here today. Thank you for choosing to spend your Saturday with us. A while ago, I was listening to the discussion. Some of you already have products, right? Some of you are still exploring the market. Um, who here has mga social media accounts na for their brands? Wow. So yung the rest, what platforms are you using? Traditional pa? Like, how are you selling your products? How are you improving your business? Are you doing the business per se? Life is, I heard there's um, manual life insurance. So, um, sir, how do you do it right now? Yung, yung pagbenta ng insurance? Um, right now, parang, uh, I'm just trying to inform my friends. Like, Connections, networks. Now. So, hindi masyado sa online network. Kasi may mga limitations. May mga limitations. And I know insurance is something very personal, di ba? It's, it's customized to the individual. Kasi I have my insurance too. So, I know na nakadepend yung discussion about the marketing it depending on the on the person you're talking to. So, I, it's it's understandable. Anyway, today, um, I was tasked to discuss about surviving and thriving online. So this discussion will be divided into, don't worry, this will be very light. It's more of going on my side because um, my experience is a mix of everything. Um, so it's more of like me just trying to tell you how I did it and how I'm doing it, <coughs> how I'm still doing it at the moment. So I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a startup entrepreneur and a digital marketer for more than nine years. So you know my age now. <laughs> And um, no, I'm still young, pa naman. young, pa naman. millennial. Pa. Um, I have my own business, it's retail. It's called Shy Shop. I don't Shy Shop. Na lang. During that time, I was one of the pioneers in the online business. I remember we, we were using Multiply. Pa. I don't know if you're familiar with Multiply. You're familiar with Multiply, yung most of marketplace. Yes, it's a marketplace. Um, and then suddenly it died so we had to look for other platforms right now and up to this moment i'm using facebook and instagram and just to let you know i don't have a, a website yet i don't have i don't have a domain yet for my retail shop but it's been around for nine years um anniversary nga is may so um before i remember just to give you a, a short cuento lang of how i started um i was 19 when i started with my first job and the people in the company thought na ang bata pa niya, wakata siyang bigyan ng work. So they just give me like, type mo to, and ganyan. So ako na, ang kakainis naman, kasi parang bakit ako magta-type lang? Like, you, not the one bragging about it, but you know, you, you finished college, but at the end of the day, they just ask you to type evaluation reports, and code everything, and so on and so forth. And I got bored. Because I am, I have a short attention span, so I really got bored just typing. And then, um, I what I what I do during that time was after minibilisan ko magtype, so morning palang tapos na ako with my entire day work. Um, and then I don't have anything to do na in the afternoon. So social media lang ako, multiply, Facebook. So happy, is happy ako afternoon kasi um, 
I get to spend time talking to friends. Pero I got bored pa rin. So, um, I saw in Multiply that someone is like selling and offering a reselling package. Like, for example, if you buy this bulk, you'll get it at a discount. Just have a go. I want to try it. And it's trinkets. Um, I remember those were um, necklaces. I don't know if naalala nyo siya or naabutan nyo siya or na-encounter nyo siya. Yung mga couple necklaces. Like, half mm. of the heart sa boyfriend, half of the heart sa girlfriend. Medyo corny siya. Pero nung time na it's really very in. Or puzzle siya, half of the puzzle sa boyfriend, half, half of the puzzle sa girlfriend. And I remember, so ko in the school. And then I started posting it online. On Facebook. So initially, I posted it on my personal account. Kasi hindi pa usa yung concept of page before, of a business page. I posted it on my personal account. And then I started tagging friends. So, who I believe can man get And I don't have who puhunan pa. I don't have the capital yet because I just started work. So I don't have any any money with me. But then I just wanted to start the business. So I was tagging friends and I was making feel it na oy bumili ka naman friend. Oy I mean this business, right? Initially you go to your network. You go to your closest connections. Bili ka naman, sige na, may boyfriend ka naman, and all. <laughs> may boyfriend ka naman para happy kayo, ganyan, and all. Mount Montserrat, ganyan, anniversary, birthday, sige ko birthday ng boyfriend mo, bumili ka rin ganyan. And then, um, I was surprised because apparently in my network, they love pala mga trinkets. Because I came from an all-girls school, mahilig sa mga ganong, arty, arty, and all. Um, and then eventually, um, I got a lot of orders, so I started ordering it to the supplier. She's based in Laguna. And then, um, sabi ko, oh, pre-order, you have to pay me first. And then, since those are my friends, they trusted me. So they gave me money, they deposited it to my account. Some of them I met um, sa mga LRT stations. And then, the first batch came to me of stocks. Um, it arrived. And then, yun na, minute ko na sila. I remember may mga corny pa minit mo ko kung dun pa sila magmamatch ng heart nila. Sarang single ako, okay. So anyway, anyway, dun kayo nagmamatch harap ko, dun kayo nagsusuot ng necklace and all. But anyway, it's business, di ba? Nakakatuwa. Because after that, um, after that, the business grew. Kasi they were telling their other friends na. So I started with my close connection and then it grew. Um, Kinwento na nalaw with their other friends. So everybody knows that hey, Shai is selling all those trinkets and all. And then the business expanded from trinkets, from the couple necklaces to other couple items, couple shirts, couple pillow, lahat na yata na pang couple men ako, couple socks, couple even the customized one. And then it grew and expanded, and the rest is history. So now um, I'm not just selling couple items; I'm selling a variety of items. From household products to baking tools to clothes, I get clothes from Bangkok. The the um, the other items I get from Hong Kong and China, um, and other items like gift items like tumblers, um, planners. So the Christmas season was really our season. It's like every everyone wants to give you my giftable items, and it's really peak season for any read. I mean, for any retail based on experience, it's really peak season. It was really um, uh, a long journey for me, and I'm happy. Like right now, I do have the online, the online store still. It's on Facebook and Instagram, but I was able to expand it. Now I have seven branches, physical branches, because it's admitted there are people na hindi pa rin comfortable ordering online. So what I have to do is to really bring it to them. And my market or uh, my market is actually students, so I place my stores near schools, universities, and colleges. So I have one in España, I have one in La Salle pa. The rest are near schools as well. So I was able to identify who my market is and that's why I, I brought my products to, to my target market. Yeah, so, and then we joined bazaars. So um, the online complemented the offline efforts. And I think that's the re really the winning formula. Okay, we're moving back to my slide. So I, aside from being an entrepreneur, I've also handled a couple of brands for digital marketing. I do it on the side, so I do consultancy. I've handled retail stores, concept stores, restaurants, and service-based businesses like um, dental clinic, um, derma services, and all. 
So I'm doing it on the side. I've also founded Kyrian Blogging some two years ago um, and has explored the world of social media influence as a form of business. So for example, when brands, um, I'm receiving a lot of collaboration requests from brands, for example, to sponsor, they sponsor clothing, shoes, they send it to me and then I post it online. Um, basically, this influencer marketing, it's seeding it's social media, these are social media influence. So, um, just to give you a, a simple quote, a strong brand can bring high returns while a poor online presence can hurt your chances of reaching your goals. So, whatever your brand is, remember that putting it online is one of the most cost-effective and actually, not just cost-effective, but effective per se, form of marketing. So, this discussion will be um, divided into two, as I've mentioned a while ago. Number one is the Filipino use of online apps and everything. Second will be mainly about the online business and the brand. And third would be branding and the digital age. Okay lang siyang um, heavy words, but those are really very simple. Um, the second part would be ways to succeed online, consistency in branding and measuring your success. So before we start, um, I'd like you to think of your um, personal brand. It could be you as a person or for example, you have a business na, diba? Some of you have your own business, whether it's soap or beauty products. Think of it and then try to analyze what makes you or your brand unique. Because later on, I'm going to ask this question again after the discussion. But during the discussion, try to think, uh, try to think about it. Number one, what's, what makes you or your brand unique? What's the image you want to project? If it's a if it's a soap, for example, you want it na um, whitening with um, na bang other effect ng soap with with smoothening effect and ano siya uh, sobrang liit lang niya pero powerful ganong klase. What is your moniker? How do you want to call it? For example, if you want to market yourself, you are Julie the um, the talkative salesman. Something like that. Try to think of something that makes your brand unique or makes your product unique. And third, how are you planning to sell it? Um, if you're doing it at the moment, I mean, if you have already, if you already have your business, then good. Try to think of ways on how you can sell it, on how you can grow your business, on how you can market your brand. Um, a lot of people say that the only way to survive and thrive online is to not just keep up with the game. It's not just you knowing what the tr knowing the trends, but it's you being on top of it. So you have to be on top of it. For example, right now, um, ang uso would be um, dresses. Um, you have to be on top of it. What would be the next trends? Try to research. That's why um, Google is, is free. You have to do your own research. Not just because you're earning now, Contento ka na. Kasi you're earning this much. Eh. I'm gonna give you then a scenario. Um, there was a time po kasi na, of course, I started out online. And then, um, a lot of um, selling platforms rose up. Zalora, Lazada. And it's very hard for me to compete because they are offering what? They have cash on delivery. They have free shipping. They have money back guarantee. They're offering a lot. They have a lot of promotions. And I'm just a simple entrepreneur. So I need to find ways to keep up with the game. And what I did was, number one, I put up my physical stores. And number two, I joined bazaars. Number three, I tapped influencers. So I tapped key people to endorse my brand, to endorse my product. And that's, that has been um, working for me at the moment. So now, ang task ko is to think of more ways on how I can improve it. So, as you can see, um, just to give you some facts, Lampono, today everyone is just online. In the Philippines, about 60 million or 58% of the total population have access to the internet. This is why it's very crucial for you to have a presence online, whether Facebook manyan or Instagram. Um, you don't really have to put up your own website agad, especially. Um, because it's quite costly. Meron na po ba dito may sariling platform na? Oh, you have your own website? Well, working on, currently working You're on working on it. it. But it's quite costly, tama po, sir? Yeah, it's 
Or you found a friend who can no, it's, do the... it's me. Uh, I, ah, it's you. Yeah, parang I... It's, it's you. just free. It's like on wings, so it's like free, free, uh, free. It's a free platform. Yeah, yeah but, but for example, you wanted to yeah, buy your own yeah, domain. Yeah, yeah, you have to pay for it na. Yeah. Um, but initially, there are platforms naman na free. Mm -hmm. Although, if you really want to make it more, I mean, better mm -hmm. and e-commerce for example because there are options for you to put shopping cart na inside diba? which is easier for some or there is a payment option inside yeah. um, that will entail some cost yeah. from your end and it might be costly so what I normally suggest is for you to put up social media muna because generally it's free um, so a lot of us have access to the internet and it and and it's not surprising that we are slightly above the global internet penetration because the average is 50%. So as you can see, online opportunities are vast. And when Filipinos go online, they tend to hang around, specifically for 8 hours and 15 Ako, I'm online 24-7. See, dito online ng pagising, cell phone, check ng mga Facebook, di pa na to toothbrush, Facebook na. Bago matulog, isa na lang mata yung naka, nakadilat, nag-Facebook pa rin. I mean, it's us as Filipinos. So we all use, we are always online. Kahit free data lang yan, Facebook pa rin. Kahit paubos na, di ba? Or palobat na. We, we really would want always to uh, go online. So the question is, um, how do you do it? I remember whenever I do talks like this, people will always ask, how do you do it? How do you um, engage people online? How do you sell your products online? It's ang hirap na compete. There are so many online sellers around, um, and that's one of actually my one of my challenges. Kasi sobrang dami ng um, online online sellers who are selling the same things as mine. Some of them will do the live thing. Are you familiar with that? In mm -hmm. the live on the spot, the bad is a trend. This has been a trend. Some of them um, will use um, other selling platforms like Shopee, mm -hmm. you're familiar, Carousel. Um, some of them are also in Lazada na. Mm -hmm. Meron ba dito ang gumagamit ng mga platforms na yun? Oh, you say, oh, that's good. You said they are helping you to gain revenue aside from your direct platforms. So I am also using Shopee, by the way. I'm using Shopee, Carousel, and other selling platforms. So yeah, so people will always say, how do you do it? Um, the trick is, there's really no um, fixed formula. Hindi siya, ah, ito, one, two, three, or one plus one equals two. For, 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 for one reason, um, Facebook and Instagram, they keep on changing the algorithm. Remember before, when our friends post something, chronological siya. So kakapost, yun lang, yun nakita mo. And for example, you have 4,000 friends in your network. Lahat yung nakikita mo. But now it's different. You only see the posts of people who are, whom you are always connecting with. So kausap mo lagi si, si friend ganyan. Yung post lang yung nakita mo. And then you'll realize, friend ko ba si ganito? Bakit hindi ko na siya nakikita? But then, friends mo pala kayo. It's just that wala kayong interaction. So he or she is not appear appearing up in your feed. That is basically part of the algorithm. Same with Instagram. So they keep on changing it. That's really hard to, you know, boost your online presence. It has been a challenge not just for startups, but even for big brands. It's why they keep on paying for ads. Um, a lot of uh, big companies, uh, some of these brands I really love, they have their own selling platform ad. Um, they have social media, but they're also... Uh, they also put up their e-commerce website. For example, Avon, before, we're used to the traditional Avon lady, right? The Avon with the, I mean, the ladies with the catalog. I remember it because my mom was once an Avon lady. And I remember accompanying her para maningil every sueldo. Or go to the offices, tapos may dala siyang bag, and all. May wanda siyang deodorant, kabasado ko pa yung perfumes, and all. Mas sweet honesty, and everything. And I remember, I fully remember it. It's, it's, it's really a lot of footwork. Because my mom's really going to wherever the clients are. Now, Avon has developed something um, which is better to reach out to more customers. And that is the avonshop.ph. So every, they, they, they didn't 
um, remove naman the Avon lady, the traditional way of doing their sales. But now they have their e-commerce site already. So if you would want to order online and have it shipped and have it delivered right at your doorstep, you can just go to their site. Another would be national bookstore. Before, we have to go directly to the bookstore to see the bestsellers, to see the promotions, and to actually read about the books, yung mga nasa likod, the synopsis, for example, if it's a fictional book. Right now, you can see everything online about the book, even school supplies, you can purchase them, and you can have them delivered. Same with fashion brands. So, for example, this one is Bershka. Um, lahat sila may card system na, and you can have them delivered right away. Most of them can deliver even same day. And that is the advantage of doing business online. Um, another thing that we'll see now that is very, I mean, we, we, most of us are using are the food delivery apps and platforms. For example, McDonald's, a while ago I just had McDonald's, and um, pizza delivery, Yellow Cab, and then KFC. So everything now, um, before website lang, but now they have the apps now, right? And then, um, other platforms that we are using at the moment, Beauty Manila, are you familiar? Uh, beauty brands. So, most of these platforms, um, there's uh, Lazada, Zalora. This is Barapido. Are you familiar with Barapido? Um, if you are into producing mga local delicacies, like mga from Ilocos, ganyan. Um, for example, uh, Batangas, uh, Kalamay, something like that. They can do it. And they can do it same day kasi iba perishable, right? Mm -hmm. Food, um, sukang, paumbog. Um, anything na locally made na delicacies, especially food, meron sila. Um, and this is shop. So all of us are very familiar, most of us are very familiar with all these platforms. Um, generally, shopping is free. Right? Mm -hmm. um, although I think you, you can pay na for additional boosting. But generally, free pa naman siya. As a Laura and Lazada, they have a certain percentage. Um, I'm not familiar because I don't. I, I, I decided to not engage with them yet. Uh, maybe soon. Um, but Rapid also has a certain percentage. Same with Beauty Manila. Beauty Manila naman is everything that's beauty related. So mga skincare brands, makeup, everything. And you know, Lazada is halo-halo. Anything and everything. Zalora is mostly mga medyo classy brands. So, those are just some of the platforms, selling platforms that we have today. Um, also, um, another example would be the food delivery. Food Panda, Honesty. Are you using these apps or grab food? Right? And of course, addition, in addition to that, we have, for example, Lamudi for mga properties. Yes, are you using Lamudi? Um, we have uh, Grab for transport services. So everything is just online. Everything is very accessible in just one click. So, a lot of people think that the winning formula, sorry, ang labo pala niya dyan. The winning formula is number one, build. So build means putting up or setting up your online business. Pwede setting up your Facebook, or setting up your Instagram, or Twitter, or whatever platform. Number two would be promoting, using the ads. Number three would be managing, managing customer relations. And it's true, in all fairness, ito naman yung formula that I've tried before, and it's worked for me for some time. The thing is, ads don't deliver anymore. Um, I don't know if you've noticed it, but on Facebook, for example, you see the sponsored ads even on Instagram, stories, lahat may mga sponsored na. And it's, um, I've experienced it, most of the sponsored ads, yung medyo related talaga sa gusto ko. For example, I'm into um, mga uh, shoes. So I always see a lot of sponsored ads about shoes. If you are into motoring, you will see a lot of sponsored ads related to that because it's part of the algorithm. But the thing is, um, the audience now are much, much smarter. Alam nila pag stage lang yan. Alam nila pag ads. Alam nila pag uh, curated lang yan to sell. Um, that's why 
a lot of brands now are actually doing it a bit different. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was invited to be one of the panelists for PRSP convention. It's a public relations event. Um, the attendees are mostly PR practitioners. Um, I was invited there as an influencer um, to talk about um, social media influence, um, blogging, and all. But I decided to stay because after ko daw would be SM and Macdo. So I, VPs from SM and Macdo. So I really want to know what um, are the things that they will share. And I'm very amazed because SM is already a household name, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever we want to shop for anything or we want to give someone a gift, SM tayo, diba? And um, SM is just everywhere. Kahit saan ka may SM, even when you're in the provinces, SM is like the main mall of everybody. But then, um, so technically, they don't really have to promote so much. Is their presence, their mere presence, Mall of Asia, SM North, everything, is, is, is good enough. Kasi lakita mo naman sila whenever you, wherever you go. But they are actually very keen with their marketing. They're very keen with their promotions. And it's not just traditional promotions, like yung mga in-store, mga promo, discount, payday sale, tier and sale, and all. They are also very keen with their online branding. Um, SM lives to the to the promise that they got all for us. Diba? Literally. They have everything that we need. And even though we hate it because it's capitalism, but still, we love SM because whatever we need, they, they really have it. Um, and they're very um, consistent with their branding. They're very consistent with they got all for us. So for example, this is one ad, and they invest so much in one content and what ad. This is a video. You can only capture the entire thing, but you can see it on their page. SM, the SM store, it's department store. And everything there is beautifully crafted. Walang nilagay doon dahil promo. Lahat consistent. Branding. Maganda. New collection. New beauty. New season. New you at SM. So right now, this is their branding. They got all for you and they, have, they can have the new, new, new you at SM. Same with um, McDonald's. So um, I was also able to listen to their VP. Um, and I remember, we know that McDonald's is an international brand, right? Mm -hmm. It's huge. Um, everyone knows what McDonald's is. They don't really have to market so much, except for the fact that malakas din si Jollibee sa marketing. So probably they're competing with them. But SM, eh, ma sorry, McDonald's is also very consistent with their branding, not just offline, but also online. Um, they always have something every season. I, I'm not sure if you can remember, but pinaka favorite ko would be the Gabby Concepcion and Sharon Coneta commercial. It's like the re reunion kind of commercial, diba? So, isa yun sa mga projects nila. They would always, always produce something online. Same with Jollibee. Um, I noticed no every Valentine's Day merong something si Jollibee na pang viral. Diba? Tapos nag, lahat kinakapture yung mga tinitweet about it. Meron din sila for Mother's Day. Meron sila for Father's Day. Meron silang Christmas. Kulang na lang mga Independence Day meron din sila. But every season, they have something. And everything may potential for virality. Lahat, mm -hmm. diba? Pwede maging viral. Lahat, relatable. Lahat, naiiyak ka na pagkatapos. Tapos, you, you have no choice but to share it kasi natuwa ka eh, and you can relate with it. So everyone is, parang lahat, everyone is touched with the messaging. So that's how big brands are doing it. Now the question is, how are you going to apply it sa brand mo? Ako, ang binibenta ko, mga, um, ano ba, mga damit lang. And I don't have so much funds to do it. I don't have funds to do a video. I don't have funds to do, or to hire commercial artists or actresses and endorsers. Actually, the key is just, it's all about branding. Right now, um, there are a lot of people selling soaps, a lot of people selling makeups. The question is, how will I stand out? How will I make my brand different? Why do they sell me? And that was a question I imposed a while ago, remember? So, we're still talking later, we're still discussing. 
Um, so again, it's all about branding. So number one, what is your messaging? Ano ba yung kakaiba sa brand mo? Um, what makes it unique? What makes it a better choice? Um, is it because mas mura siya? Is it because, just to let you know my, my, um, my concept for my shy shop, this is retail, uh, it's retail, right? Before, ang winning formula ko would be pang in -check. I always do the bulk wholesaling. My markup is very low. As in, very low per piece, but I'm always for the quantity. So, I don't know if it will work with you, because it really, it depends, eh. But it has worked for me. So, I have a lot of resellers, not just in Manila, but actually, mas marami in the provinces. Because those products, they don't really reach them. And because my markup is very low, they can sell it at a higher price and they can still have profit. And the price is still competitive. So that has been my, my formula. Now I was able to really grow the business. It really depends on the kind of business that you have. So what is your messaging? What makes your brand, what makes your product unique? Um, also, again, in my, in my case, um, because right now I'm selling a lot. It's a variety. And when people ask me, ano yung nakikerry ng, ng brand mo, ng business mo? Which product? Kasi with a lot of things happening, ano yung binuboost mo talaga? Which one is really the best of the best in all your brands? So I would always say, kasi I have um, hair products. Um, so that's one of the best sellers that I have. So whenever I have to um, go somewhere and promote my brand, I would always say, uh, I have mga hair products, hair irons, hair curlers, and then get to model it because I have, I have long hair. So try to think about it. Which, if you have a lot of brands, for those ang naman na maraming, I mean products, try to think of which among those products really carry your brand or your business. Number two would be platforms. Um, a while ago, I mentioned that initially you can use social media. It's a fee lang naman siya eh. Facebook, setting up a Facebook page is free. Um, setting up your registering for Instagram account is also free. So, use both platforms. And additional platforms would be Libre Den, which is Shopee. Um, OLX is also free, right? Mm -hmm. Although you have to pay if you want your ads to be on top, right? Um, Carousel is free. What are the other platforms? Or if you would want to engage into a bigger platform, you can opt to deal with Lazada. Yun nga lang, they have a certain percentage. Meron na po bang tied up with Lazada or Zalora? Wala pa. Yeah, they, they charge a certain percentage kasi. I think it's, Zalora has more. But for Lazada? 9%. 9%. Zalora, I think, is 15%. 15 to 20. I'm not sure if nagtaas or nagbaba because um, I think Zalora is not picking up so much because and dami ng other platforms. But Lazada is like a go-to online site. Mm -hmm. So it's really kind of doing well. Um, third would be your core message. Um, again, my message should be bili kayo ng marami kasi mas mura. Mas may wholesale price ako, may promo ako. So what is your Message. It can be. It can. It can vary every month. For example, today you have a promo, so that will your messaging would revolve on that. For example, this Valentine's Day it's buy one take one, or send a uh, post a photo of your jawa and you'll get a free whatever. Something like that. It depends on your core messaging. And number four, consistency. So um, branding is actually very crucial. So for example, especially for those who are just exploring it pa. Wala pa at the moment. Remember, it's important for you to, what, do your logo. You have to have your own logo. If you're selling something, um, especially if it's handmade, why not try um, doing a customized paper bag? It's part of branding. Eh? You have to consist be consistent with it. And you have to take note that it is very important, especially when you are just starting up. You see, you're trying to build a name. So, my important the logo, your name, your address, um, and your contact details. When you reply to messages on Facebook, do you have a template? It's part of branding. When you
send invoices to customers? Do you have a template? It's also part of branding. So everything is just about branding, especially when you're just starting up. You, although I highly encourage that you use ads, um, siguro mga after three to six months of putting up your business, use ads because that's you can target your um, market with that. Actually, that's what I do as digital strategies for several brands. Nalo po kung alin yung market nala, and then all ads would be directed towards that market. So to sum it up, this first half to survive is number one: stick to your brand. Know what your brand is. Is it um, beauty on call? Uh, anything that's beauty related? Um, know your USP. What makes your brand unique? What makes your business unique? What makes your product unique? Identify your key message. If it's per month, today, buy one, take one. The next, ano naman, um, get a free, uh, if it's service, get a free um, manicure if you buy hand spa, something like that. Maximize your platforms, whether it's social media or selling platforms or any other platform, and work towards building the business. It's always key. Um, they seem Parang mukha sa lang, simple lang, but it's actually a lot of work. So if you're planning to put up your business now, or you have your business now, try to think about what brand, what kind of brand are you? Um, what What's your unique message? What is it that you really would want to sell? And how are you planning to grow the business? Yeah, so now, um, I, I hope you were able to think about my questions a while ago. It's all about, ano ba yun? The task, which is, uh, think of your brand, and then try to identify what makes it unique. Um, what's the image you want to project? What is your moniker? What is your tagline? And how are you planning to sell it? I'm giving you masiguro around two minutes to think about it. If you have pen and paper, write it. Um, it will be nice. At least you have a record. Because the thing is, also while you're doing it, all, branding. Um, although I told you to stick with it, sometimes you have to change a bit along the way, depending on the needs of your customers. Ang gusto pa nila ganitong size of um, or ganitong packaging of lipstick, yung hindi ba basagin, something like that. So you have to adjust. So you have to understand that your market, you have to respond to your market. Yeah. So I'm giving you two minutes to think about your brand or your business or your product and try to answer those questions. Most of you are from Manila, or are there people from other parts? Laguna. Laguna, sir. So, paano pa yung punta dito? Nag-commute pa talaga tayo. That's nice. Wow. Anong product mo, sir, or business? Uh, actually, uh, ma marami, kaso ah, marami. the way na business na binibigay ko is, uh, yung isa is uh, e-loading. Actually, e yung nakapasaway, nag-sasapod ako because... Nag-load kayo sir habang nag-uusap tayo. Uh, <laughs> kasi actually, <laughs> nag-load siya. Kaya sir, kahit sinasabi sa nila na hindi ako available, they're still going uh, na sa akin. May sa request pa rin. Nag-request pa rin sila and yung iba ay nagpapag-bills payment because na imprint na sa nila na yung branding. Because uh, pag nagpaload sila sa akin, kahit na ano or na ibigay, as long as meron akong fans, nilaload ko sila kakagad. And then kapag... So, paano ang bayad nyo doon, sir? It's uh, to bank transfer, remittances. And since magka-establish na ako ng brand from people to people, so alimbawa, you need load emergency kasi makukuto lang ng kuryente. And ang bayaran kasi na natin 3 days eh, no one before. So I can lend you a certain amount kasi kilala na kita. Then you can pay me after 3 days. Oh, okay. Then the second part naman nung uh, pinaka product ko, uh, hindi ko siya pinagyan ng shop. Okay, dati may gano'n ko siya, pinagyan ko. Is yung uh, customized software development. Kasi alam ba, sample, may problem ka sa website. Gusto na mag-mic sir para everyone could, ano, could hear. Uh, after, yung isa kong uh, business na uh, hindi po nilagay ng online, uh, online store. Yes. Kasi 
it's a customized software development. Yes. For example, may problem ka with your mga visitors mo. Marami na pupunta sa website, mahulang bumibili. So, napakalaking problema doon. So, exactly. una-una mong, siyempre, gusto malaman, saan sila nang gagaling? Mm. Kasi, mayroon tayong Facebook, pwede natin siyang target sa certain area. Yes. So, kung makikita Facebook mo siya, majority ng visitors mo na hindi bumibili comes from Metro Manila. So, ipig sabihin, kailan mo mag-exert ng effort sa Facebook Metro Manila. So, I, I can tell you, so, yeah. itetrace ko sila, customize para sa'yo. Sabihin ko sa'yo, lahat ng mga di bumili sa'yo, ito yung IP address niya. Lahat sila nag-biblong to Metro Manila. So, ito, and din lang ako sa dalawa nagpo-focus. Pero, to share na rin, ang una-una kong uh, online business na kumito na malaki, I'm selling soap. Doong hero ko noon, may balbas ako, and actually, I look like uh, tambay sa kanto. <laughs> but, I never sell na nag-a-ads, Facebook ads, wala ako noon. Wala ako, social media wala. What I do is, tinignan ko yung mga friends ko online, then I offer them, do you want to try a soap? And then, sabi na, yes, I want to. Tapos tinan ko sila, where can we meet? I'll give you one. Kapag ka gumana sa'yo, nagka-effect sila maganda, pay me. If hindi, I'll pay you. <laughs> so, Saan yung soap na yan, sir? Mga uh, hindi ko na, hindi ko na, hindi ko na ah, mention wala. yung brand. Okay. Actually, meron pa rin. Pero hindi ah, ko na mention yung brand. Pero doon, uh, for the first three months, I lost around 15,000. 15,000, one five. But after six months, yung mga satisfied, they buy in bulk of 12 pieces, 15 pieces. Wow. Then pinapashift ko na siya, galing dun sa store na kinukunan ko. So, bali, ang ano, approach ko doon is not really mula ng social media. It's try it or word of mouth recommendation. It's personal experience. Yes, from personal experience. And no one believed me nung pinos ko sa Facebook, I'm selling this soap. Kasi wala talaga sa inspiro ko dati na I sell this soap. <laughs> ngayon meron na, sir. No? Pwede na, ngayon. Yeah, uh, ngayon pwede ko siya i-share. Ayon, I sell pwede. this soap. <laughs> pwede na ngayon. Thank you, sir. Wow. Sorry, sir. What's your name, Paul? Uh, Paul Siren. Paul Siren. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Wow. Very inspiring, if you, sir. Because um, he has several businesses. E-loading. Uh, yes. Customer software. Customer and software. And I've been on a soap. And soap. <laughs> so, lahat mukhang successful naman, sir, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Actually, yung question, another question na I think I wasn't able to discuss lang would be manpower. Iba sa online. Um, it's really, it's really hard to gauge eh. how many, how much manpower they need. I remember, um, nung time ko po, since, um, I told you parang sideline ko lang siya before, um, dahil bored ako sa work, ayaw na lang akong ng work. So, doon ako nag-online, tapos pag-uwi ko, mag-online lang ako. And my mom will always tell me, matulog ka na, kasi gabi na, bukas may pasok ka na. Tapos so, hindi, meron ako mga customers. And people are just laughing at me kasi may work ka naman, bakit nagpapangapagod ka pa and all. Sabi ko, hindi, hindi kaya ko to. So eventually, it grew um, from just me doing all the online thing. Nakita ng, ng parents ko, ang hirap na hirap na ako in life kasi nimit ko sa mga LRT stations. I was, wor I was working in Shaw. Tapos lahat ng station, kasi I live in Marikina during that time, lahat ng station may ka-meet up ako. So tumitigil ako from Shaw, um, Ortigas, lahat Kubaw, mas marami akong meet up sa Kubaw. Pati yung mga, very unlike yung mga Betigo, Belmonte, meron akong meet up. Kasi lahat sila sa LRT station. Hanggang Marikina. So meron akong katipuran, then magigig pa ako, bababa ako ng bayan. I don't know if you're familiar, Marikina. Baba ng bayan sa may tulay, meron akong meet up sa 7-Eleven. Kilala na akong mataga 7-Eleven kung atin ko hindi bumibili. Sino-sinong kamit? And then, so yo, dun siya na, it's really a lot of effort during that time. Kasi ang mahal pa ng shipping noon, ngayon kasi meron na mga on the weight, meron na mga 40 pesos, 50 pesos. But during that time, it's really very expensive kasi Air 21, LBC, yun lang options. Um, so yun, it grew, and then I asked my mom, baka you can help. Because my mom is doing, yun nga, mga Avon, Avon and all. It's related to naman, sales. By the way, I was, I was always very enterprising eh. Kasi college pa lang ako, nagbibenta na ako ng kono ano. So it's really in the blood. Sabi ko, nasa blood natin yan, tuloy natin. Um, 
So I asked my mom, baka you can help me naman kasi ang hirap na hirap na hirap na ako. Dati LRT 2 lang, ngayon may LRT 1 na ako, may MRT, kompleto ko na lahat ng ano, stations. Baka you can help me sa mga meet up. Anyway, meron naman tayong meet up fee. Sa yun na yung meet up fee, you know. Um, so yun, eventually nag-grow pa siya, so I already asked my dad to help me. Kasi nag nagmo-motor siya. I didn't I didn't come from a well family, per the record. So, we are very simple. Nagmamotor siya, sabi ko, maka naman pwede mo nang i-deliver yung mga Las Piñas, ganyan. Kasi, motor ka naman eh. So, sabi niya, sige, maka na ba yung ano ko dyan? Sa'yo na yung shipping fee, delivery fee, ganyan. Sabi niya, sige. So, nag-grow siya, nag-grow po siya ng nag-grow. Um, eventually, nahirapan na din kami sa inventory, sa pagpapak, Madaling araw na nagpapak pa kami ng mga package, at susulat kami, duling-duling na kami, mali-mali na yung susulat. So I asked my other relatives from the province, from Batangas, to come over. Sabi ko, mga tita, ganyan-ganyan, punta na mga kayo dito, hirap na hirap na kami. Um, yes, stressful na talaga siya at one point. Lahat kami nakakasakit na, grogi na, hindi na namin alam. Pero talagang time na sobrang peak ng online business for me, for us. And yun, I, I was very happy kasi I was able to give my relatives some work. Um, so I asked them to relocate. Um, uh, just to let you know, just to share with you then po. No? So I told you I didn't come from a well family. We were in Marikina. Naundoy kami, as in one floor lang kasi bahay namin. So ang first project ko after ng business is to really renovate the entire house. So after that, um, I was able to ano naman, to do it naman, so yun, three floors na siya, um, and then I, I told you nga my relatives, I asked them to go here, so I bought an apartment where they can stay, um, and then I bought, um, yun, I, I, it's really, parang, it's, it's me trying to give back na din, kasi they helped me um, make the business established. Um, and also, sa Marikina kasi, there was a time na nag yung shoe industry, mm-hmm. and I remember yung mga kapit bahay namin magagaling gumawa ng shoes, they don't know where to get profit. Kasi wala eh, walang bumibili ng shoes kasi ang mura nga naman ng mga China and all, mga Korea. Anyway, China din naman sila lahat. Um, so I tried to find ways on how we could earn, I mean, us as a community. So I asked them to do mga mga leatherette na wallets. Hindi siya, hindi siya real leather, pero parang um, fake leather siya. Pero mukhang leather, parang ganun din niya. Um, I asked, I, I tried drafting it, drawing, drawing lang, tapos sabi ko, baka you can do it. And since they're very skilled, in all fairness, these people are very talented, they were able to do it. And right now, we are exporting the wallets in uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, um, and Kuwait. Yeah. So, um, it's really not just about you earning, but it's, I mean, part of it is really helping the community so you all earn together. And, um, to ano sila. So right now they're really we we keep on improving the designs, um, trying to draft more products using the marikin skills the mga marikin yung. Kasi sayang naman eh. For me it's really sayang, and it's, it's another source of profit for them. So it's really it's, it's really it's really a tough challenge. And right now it's more challenging kasi nga sobrang dami na, sobrang dami na kikinda online. Sobrang dami na ding choices and ang daming bazaars, ang daming, ang daming choices ng, F ng mga tao. But as I've mentioned, yung online market is very vast. So we try to maximize it. Try to think of ways on how you can engage people and how can you get customers. Yon, so dami na nating kweto. Um, maybe I can, can I ask for a volunteer? I can share lang. Um, it doesn't really have to be so good. I mean, hindi naman siya hindi naman siya school project na kailangan ng galing-galing. Kung ano lang yung naisip niyo at the moment. I know, I know you came here for a reason. Hindi naman kayo nagpunta dito, nagsayang ng Saturday niyo para lang, ah, wala, upo lang ako dun kasi may libre daw food to sa aircon. <laughs> Lalo na si Sir Galing pa Laguna, di ba? Sayang naman. Sana nag-load na lang siya. But really, di ba? You came here for a reason. You wanted to know more about how you could put up or improve your business. You wanted to know more how you can engage with customers and maximize the power of social media. So might as well participate. Di naman po namin i-judge. 
who wants to volunteer? Share lang. It doesn't really have to be so perfect. Sir. Yay! Palakpak natin si Sir. Sir, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Wins. So, yung spell ng pangalan ko is W-Y-N-Z. So, walang vowel. So, just share ko, share ko lang. So, ako kasi, I'm still a student, graduating student. So, but, um, I was engaged to financial literacy and nagustuhan ko siya and then inaral ko siya at the same time. So, more on insurance din katulad ni Sir Bunch, but different company. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> yellow. <laughs> so, I mean, ako kasi, um, so the name of the business that I was, na binil ko, was actually me Millennial Ventures. So, yung Millennial Ventures, nung, nung, sina nung tinayo ko siya, so sabi ko, ang aim, ang aim ko is to educate every Filipino towards financial freedom. So, yung parang, as time goes by kasi para ang nagiging uh, stereotype of insurance agents is just for sales. But uh, for me personally, um, I'm not just into sales, but I'm also into educate. So for me, I want to educate uh, our, my clients rather than just sales. Kasi kapag in-educate mo, kapag okay sa yung, yung client, sales will come after. But you have to be more on um, engaging with your clients and educate them on their finances and how they manage their finances and then the sales will come second, you know. Wow, kalang pa natin wins. Tama Wins, So very good. I think it's, it's very important that he understand what he does. It's not just selling insurance. It's not just selling yung yellow insurance na, but it's also um, giving people the education that they need about financial literacy. Kasi bonus na yung sales after. Yung fact lang that you were able to help other people is already rewarding. Um, any other volunteer who can share? Yes, ma. I'm Eric Gar. I'm into, I'm a coffeepreneur. So I have this, um, I have a coffee kiosk, and it's called Little Brooch. Um, you name, yeah, Little Brooch, kasi naging ganun na lang yun dahil mahirap yeah. pa-register ng name sa DPI. Yeah. And it was the, I think, the last name in the list. <laughs> <laughs> na walang, you know, acceptable yeah. to get registered with DPI. So biglang, on the last minute, during that time, medyo na twist din yung naging concept dahil, oops, biglang na. Well, Bruce is a, a UNESCO heritage town in Belgium. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have to make the image or the brand similar to that place. Yes. So anyway, so mukhang ano naman yung coffee kasi yung product ay coffee and ice cream. And um, I was supposed to focus on coffee lang. Biglang since it's good, so okay, why not uh, have Belgian chocolate? Anyway, uh, we're famous. Uh, yes. Belgium is famous for yes. Belgian chocolate. So, naging ganun yung, um, yung, na, yung naging concept ng business. So, for for that, um, well, simple lang yung naging tagline. Um, little brew your coffee and ice cream uh, even. Para if they... Um, it's been going on for over two years. And where is the kiosk? In Mandalorian. Um, I started in a in a mall. Well, it's a low-profile mall. Pero uh, later on, I divert na ako ng business strategy for so it survived. So I just want to share kasi yung um, since ako lang lahat is a single prop and I'm I'm I'm, I'm a new entrepreneur. I'm a new business you know, into this business. And uh, I have to do everything, marketing, yeah. as the CEO of a single profit <laughs> business, and also the CEO, and the, and the CEO messenger, yeah. and the slash, <laughs> and the barista. <laughs> so, how did you get to work in management? You didn't work in the same 
hindi na eh. Mahirap na eh. Oo, mahirap. Kasi kapatsabit. Oh, sige, remind. Uh, I'll tell you na lang later. Ang mahirap kasi doon, yung ibang mga nakikiosyos sa ano, oh, I, oh, how are you doing now? Parang, I have to be able to come up with something na, ah, oh, successful naman. <laughs> like, ano naman, yung first year, like, break even naman, so okay naman ako survive. And then second year, okay naman, it's more than the break even. <laughs> mga ganon. Um, I just want to, uh, I, well, I attended this course, we also learned to do it online. Okay, although, uh, my, my market is very limited to uh, office and policy. Uh, I want to know if I can offer online, so they can, uh, they can, they can, uh, they can order online. I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah. So I want to improve on the branding. Oh, oh. Siguro ano kapag ganon ako rin magdeliver, ako yung delivery girl. Ako rin yung may time lang ako sa magdeliver kasi hindi na. deliver siya din nagbenta so it's it's really it, it, siya din siya din accountant niya so pag may OT sa sarili na pinapropose na may OT pay siya <laughs> but it is very inspiring for startups talaga initially you only have yourself yes, hmm. yes. diba and it's really hard kasi parang pag nasistress ka na aawain mo lang yung sarili mo pag nagkamali magagalit ka sa sarili mo kasi Mali ka ng pinak, mali ka ng pinrepair and all. But, it's as, eh, yun kasi yung way for us to learn how to do it eh. You mm -hmm. really have to do everything muna. Mm -hmm. And it's a time that you can gather additional manpower. Additional, ay, yung another um, insight ni ma'am is if it's possible to do your business online. Considering na yung kiosk is just in Mandaluyong. 
Actually, sa second part pa dapat, pero just to give you a preview din. Um, on Facebook kasi, di ba, you can target. Sir, you know what? You can target your ads. So, kung mandaluyong ka lang, syempre, hindi mo pwede nang target yung mga tagang-patabato nung gagawin yun sa coffee mo. Pupata pa ako ng ano para mag-coffee, Belgian. So, it's really, it, it doesn't make sense. That's why in Facebook, you can use geotagging. So, pwede, for example, uh, I have, I'm handling one restaurant. It's in Sheridan, uh, Rockwell Business Center. So, hindi ko pwede mag-target ng mga, kahit na restaurant siya, nasa Metro Manila, hindi ko pwede target yung mga Las Piñas. Kasi hindi naman sila pupunta ng Mandaluyong para kumain. Um, so, I only target those who are within the area. So, I put in there, um, Sheridan, the entire area, plus probably one mile, para lang yung mga additional extension. but yan lang yung market ko? Kasi sila lang naman yung kakain talaga doon, diba? Mm -hmm. Especially that it's just a casual dining. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman siya fine dining na, Pupunta ako, for example, ng Sofitel because I really want to try Spiral. Hindi siya ganon. So, it really depends on the brand and it really depends on your market, on your location. You really have to consider that. It's a lot of things, it's a lot of efforts, and it's hard because you're doing it on your own initially. But, not naman ng negosyo, ganun eh, diba? You really have to start small. And then eventually you grow it. And you really have to put a lot of effort. You know, last one for this, ano. Yes, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name, introduce My name is James. So, by the way, I am only 19 years old. But uh, when it comes to business, po, uh, since 14 pa lang, nag-business na ako nun. So, yung ano ko kasi, yung parang mindsetting ko lang, ayoko lang yung maging normal. Ayoko yung parang usual Ayaw, na... Ayoko pala, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, iba yung <laughs> Ayaw ko lang kasi yung ayaw ko lang kasi parang nagiging tradition na kasi ng Filipinos yung mag-aaral ka lang. Tapos kay graduate ko magtatrabaho ka. Tapos yun yung pinaka-ayaw kong never kong pinangarap sa buhay ko na magtrabaho lang ako. Tapos yung pinakamasama pa doon, nag-graduate ka ng matinding course. Tapos mag-end up ka sa McDo, Jollibee. Parang saklap naman parang kung kung i-common sense mo lang, yung perang inubos mo sa pag-aaral mo kung ginamit mo lang sa negosyo. Ako mas malaki pa yung naging profit mo. Diba? So, ano po, uh, 14, 40 years old ako, ano po, uh, networker ako nun. So, sino yung familiar sa networking? So, open-minded po ba kayo? <laughs> so, <laughs> they, pero uh, networking is good. So, dun po ako nahumog lahat-lahat. So, swerte ko lang po sa networking kasi nasali ako dun sa mga mabubuting tao. So, sa networking talaga may good side and may bad side. So, swerte lang po talaga na sa good influence po talaga ako napunta. Uh, hindi po ako sa ibabaw. Sa tama lang naman po. Kumita naman po ako ng malaki. Pero ang pinakahina, ang pinakahabol po talaga dapat natin once na pumasok sa networking is yung learning talaga. Kasi yung seminar po doon, unlike ngayon, na may sarili na akong business, paminsan-minsan na lang yung seminar. Pero unlike sa networking, halos every three days, seminar talaga. So, doon po talaga ako na hook. Yan na train po talaga. Then yung mga, mga uplines ko noon, Talagang siyempre, sumunan sila mga kumikita ng milyon. So, doon talaga na parang, palaging, naniwala kasi ako doon sa, ano yung, sa tomato na pag gumalo ko sa mga bulok, mabulok ka rin. So, that's why 98% ng friends ko dati nawala. So, sumama ako sa mga, as in, <laughs> eh kasi yung ano eh, yung parang hindi nila maintindihan kung paano ako mag-isip. Eh kasi siyempre, magka 14 years old, ano bang nasa isip ng mga 14 years old, diba? Ano, totoo ba sinasabi mo, Brad? Ano ako ba ako? Kaya ganun nila ako. Tapos hanggang sa, ayun po, hanggang sa kinukulot na nila ako, hindi ko, oh, accept na ako na accept. Basta kung ano lang sabihin nila, kahit hindi ko maintindihan, masig gagawin ko yun. Ganun lang po ako dati. Basta alam ko naman sa sarili ko na hindi nila ay papahama. So, so and so forth, uh, ending din po, ang trackway po kasi ng mga networkers. Sa so, una, mag-start, kita na malaki, once na matuto, automatic po yung mag-negosyo po yan. So, ending, karamihan po niyan, mawawala rin po sa network. So, nawala rin po sa network. Kasi nag-negosyo na po talaga ako. So, um, dahil din po sa networking, nakapag-aral ako ng sarili ko. Uh, Nakapag-separate din ako ng bahay. So, doon po talang nag-site that. Kaso nga lang din, nawala rin po, nawala rin income ko doon. So, that's why talaga na-push ako na, eh, may mga liabilities na ako binabayaran monthly. So, that's why na-push po ako na, hala, ano nang gagawin ko? Yung tuition ko, di pa fully paid. May monthly pa akong ganito, ganyan. Then, hanggang sa nag-start po ako, nag-business ako ng clothing. So, gumawa po ako ng sariling brand. Uh, ang apelido ko po kasi is Afante. 
So na-inspire po kasi ako sa friend ko dati na may clothing line din dati na may clothing line dati. Ang apelido niya is Bunny Kid. So gumawa siya ng brand name, ginawa niyang Bunny Kid. So parang related sa ninya. So doon ako na-inspire na ako, sabi ko, one day, pag gumawa ko ng brand name ko, gusto ko related sa pangalan ko. So, kaya yung Afante, anong gagawin natin sa Afante? So ginawa ko siyang sentence, Afantis. So, Afantis. Oh, so, doon na po yung, ano, yung clothing line na yun. Kaso nga lang po, eventually, nag-fail din yung business. So, ngayon, close na siya. So, wala na rin po siya. Then, pangalawa, pumasok po ako sa business ng vape. Yung vaping. So, juice line, something mga ganyan. Eventually, nag-fail din po. So, yung, yung reason po bakit nag-fail yung dalawang negosyo na yun, isa partner. So, mahirap po talaga minsan pag may partner talaga. So, that's why, sa third business ko, nag-decide ako na suloyin ko lahat. Sabi ko, bahala na kayo sa buhay nyo. Basta ako, <laughs> basta sabi ko, kung may sisisihin man ako ngayon, at least sarili ko na sisisihin ko. So, that's, uh, ano sabi nga po talaga nila, is everything happens for a reason talaga eh. So, before kasi, wala akong hilig sa shoes. So, sino ba may hilig sa shoes dito? Mga sneakerheads. Karamihan po talaga ng population, lalo na when it comes to men, pero sa women, marami na rin mga sneakerheads. And actually, growing talaga siya, ayos sa statistics. Um, nahilig ako sa, sa shoes dahil yung mga downline ko dati may hilig sa shoes so once na kumita sila syempre apply na ko hindi naman pwedeng hindi rin ako bumili kasi kasama ko sila sa Nike Park so nandun kami sa Nike store bibili sila matitigrade kasi yung value ko pag di ko bumili so, bibili rin ako <laughs> so syempre alam naman nila kung kumikita sila mas malaki kinikita ko sa kanila so syempre normally ganun po nangyari yan yung sa isa rin po yung umubos ng pera ko dati yung sapatos. As in, totoo po yun. So, nangyari po... Ano size mo? <laughs> <laughs> so, dun po nag-strike yung ano ko. Kasi tingin ko lang sa sapatos dati, bakit ka gagastos ng malaki? Kasi pinatatapak lang namin. Nahubukutpod lang din naman yan. Sabi ko, ba't ito gagastos ng mga 15,000, 20,000 size ng sapatos? Hanggang sa nung na... nakita ko yung beauty ng mga shoes. Kasi ang daming colors, ang daming models. Sabi ko, gaganda pala. May mga kanya-kanyang purpose, may mga kanya-kanyang story. Hanggang sa, doon po ako nahilig sa sapatos talaga. Then, totoo po yung sinabi talaga ng nanay ko dati na once na bumili ka ng sarili mong pera, hihingatan mo talaga yun. So that's why lahat ng shoes ko, siguro ganito, ganito lahat ng sneakerheads eh. Pag uwi ng bahay, di ba ginamit yung shoes? Pupunasan. Tapos ibabalik sa box na parang wala nangyari. Ganun na nangyari po. So ganun din po ako. So, one time po kasi, Di ba, wala na po akong business, wala na akong social income, so back to zero na naman. For, for the third time, networking, floating, so bagsak na naman ako. So, ang nangyari po na ito, kumusap po ako ng tatlong successful na tao. Tinanong ko po sila kung... Kasi napapagod na rin po ako nun eh. Ang gusto ko na tanong ko sa tanong ko sa alam bang negosyong... Uh, maganda kita yung sa Pilipinas, na sure magubo. Ang ending po, lahat po sila, isa lang sinagot sa akin. Ano ba talaga gusto mo sa buhay? Ano ba gusto mong gawin? Ano ba talaga hilig mo? So sabi ko one time na parang na-stand ako no, na nasa bahay ako, nakahiga ako. Oo, oh, nasabi ko, bakit ganun? Sabi ko, pare-parehas lang successful. Meaning, yun talaga yung sagot sa tanong ko. So nag-isip-isip ako ngayon, ano ba talaga gusto ko sa buhay? And then nakita ko yung mga sapatos ko na nakapatong sa taas ng cabinet. Kasi nakahiga po ako eh. Ano sila sa taas? Hanggang sa sabi ko, may hilig ako sa sapatos. Alam mo ba magandang gawin yung negosyo sa sapato? Wala ko pa naisip, magbenta. Kaso, when it comes to startups, you need to be realistic. Kung ano ba talagang capability mo. Wala naman akong pera. Eh pag magbenta ka ng sapatos, kailangan mong bilhin yung buo. Eh magkano mga sapatos, tas papatong ka, 1,000, 2,000 lang. So, eh paano kung hindi mo pa mabenta, tulog yung pera mo doon sa sapato. So, pangalawa ko naisip, di ba maingat po sa sapatos? So, doon nag-come up yung concept ko na shoe cleaning. So, ngayon po, um, so ano nga po pangalan? Gato po, so, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, gusto ko po yung pangalan ko nandun. So, wala na po kasi ako may isip that time eh, kung paano ko yung kukunik yung pangalan ko, James. So, paano may kukunik yung pangalan mo, James, sa ganong negosyo? So, yung James po kasi, na word, five letters siya, meron siyang S sa dulo. Yung concept po kasi ng negosyo ko, eh, sneaker care. So, ginawa ko, pinagduntong ko lang sila. James sneaker care po yung name ng business ko. So yung business ko, operating na siya for 2 years na this February 1. So, ang maganda po dito, purely online siya, simula nung day 1. Mm. 
So, imagine lahat ng customer ko nagagaling through Facebook. So, that, totoo po yung sinabi ni ma'am na dati iba yung al, al, uh, yung parang algorithm ng Facebook. Totoo po yun. Kasi, maranasan ko po yun eh. Ang budget ko po kasi sa when it comes to boosting is 1,000 pesos per week. So, that time, nakaka-reach ako ng 170,000 audience. Ba pero ngayon, nasa 10,000 na lang. So, naramdaman ko rin yung sinabi ni ma'am na totoo yun na Dati talaga, ang ganda ng Facebook talaga, pero ngayon, sinasadya talaga nila yun para magbayad ka sa kanila mas malaki. So, ang nangyari po na ito, same ni ma'am, ako rin po lahat. So, ako magkiklining, ako mag-meet up, ako mag-chat-chat sa page, ako mag-marketing, sa pera, ako lahat. So, yung bago ako nag-start dito, ang pera ko na lang po kasi na yun, 1,000 pesos. So, that's why na-create po yung vlog ko. Siguro, next, mamaya, pakita ko po sa inyo. May na-create po ng vlog ko kasi na gusto niya din po yung story na kung paano ko po nasimulan yung business ko sa passion, tsaka sa 1,000 pesos. So, yung 1,000 pesos na po yun, uh, sinim, ano, binambili ko siya ng ano. Mahal po kasi yung shoe cleaner. So, ang shoe cleaner, yung binili ko po dati is Crep Protect. So, yun po yung isa sa pinakamahal talaga yung cleaner. Kasi ang alam ko po, siyempre, pag ikaw yung may-ari ng sapatos, gusto mo maganda yung materials na ginagamit ko. So, Um, so, yung saktong value po nun is 1,000. So, automatically, po nag nun nag yung business ko, zero talaga. So, ang punan ko po doon talaga, yung 100 ml na shoe cleaner, brush, tsaka yung towel. So, nag-start po ako noon sa CR lang namin. So, alam mo po yung upuhan pala laba, yung mababa. <laughs> Tapos, di ba yung bowl? Di ba may takip po yun? Doon po nakapatong yung sapatos, kinukuskus ko po yun doon gabi-gabi. So, ang schedule ko noon, sa school ko kasi 7 a.m. ako dati. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yun ang schedule ko sa school. And then, after nun, automatically, nakaset na po lahat ng meetups ko niyan. Pag uwi ko sa bahay, start ako ng 9 p.m. Matatapos ako 3 a.m. So, magigising ako ng mga 5.30. So, ganun lang po kay clean tool ko dati nun. No? Hanggang sa, eventually, hindi ko ngayon expect na sobrang lakas pala ng demand ng negosyo to. Hanggang sa, ano ko po kasi ako, pag, pag nagre-negosyo ko, hindi ko pinapansin masyado yung efforts. Hindi ko binibilang, kasi pag binilang mo, papapagod ka. So, ginawa ko, parang ginawa ko lang siya, parang nag-enjoy lang ako, ganyan, ginagawa ko lang. Basta kung meron, hindi gagawin ko. Tapos, hanggang sa yung page ko, pinaka-pinagbabasihan ko po dati is yung page. Sabi ko, once na makarit ako ng 10,000 likes, sigurado ang dami ko ng customer noon, kasi sabi ko 10,000 likes yun eh. And then, hanggang sa yung isang pader ng bahay namin na puno ng syura, So, puno na ng sapatos. Doon po ako na-force din na humiwalay na naman ulit. Kasi hindi na pa ako kasi sa bahay. So, yung nanay ko naman, so, dati po kasi nanay ko, pag, nung nag-start po pala ako, way back ng 14 years old ako, very negative yung family ko sa akin din. So, isip nyo, ne negative friends, negative family. Ang nalalapitan ko lang talaga na, yung mga kasama ko lang sa networking. And then, um, sabi ko naman sa... Ah, 16 ko. Ano po? Ah... Ako dito. Ano ba ako? Ano po yun? Kami umalay ka na. Ayaw kami umalay po ako. So, doon po nag-start, mas na-push yung negosyo ko. Kasi automatically, may binabayaran ako rental. Tapos, yung rental ko noon, kasi nag-dorm po ako sa Manila, sa UN. Kinuha ko yung isang room. Tapos eventually, naging tatlong rooms yun. Kasi lumaki po na lumaki talaga. So yun, yun po yung parang, hindi ko po na-predict yung spike nung, nung ano ko. Biglang ganun po talaga siya. And then, dumating din po yung time na bumagsak din. Na, dahil din po sa mga competitors. So hindi po talaga natin may iwasan yung isang may mga sabotage na nangyayari. So sisiraan ka nila, ganun. Although yung nangyari po na yun, ano po talaga, as in honesty, hindi ko po talaga ginawa yun. Parang feeling ko sinetap talaga na ako eh. So may nagpagawa sa akin, ang sapatos, tapos biglang sinabi, pinalitan ko daw ng fake. Sabi ko, bakit nung papalitan yun? Diba? So, yun po, di ba nag-start po sa shoe cleaning, and then hanggang sa, may mga nag-i-inquire po sa akin na, may, may re-glue ba kayo? May repaint ba kayo? May re-dye ba kayo? Customization ba kayo? Yes, other services. Hanggang sa naisip ko, sayang naman yung market sa apat na yun. Kaya ginawa ko, pinag-aralan ko po lahat yun. Doon po naubos yung sapatos ko. Kasi lahat po yung pinag-testan ko po lahat. 
Ah, uh, parang investment na lang din po 'yun kasi wala naman hindi naman po hindi naman po pwedeng mag-test sa ibang sapatos kasi sapatos ko na din. So sapatos ko lang po talaga 'yung pwedeng mong pagsubukan. Hanggang sa so far po so good. Ah, uh, ngayon ah uh, may mga kumakausap po sa akin investors na gusto nila akong i-push ng mag-brand sa malls. Pero actually yung mga may mga may mga nauna na po sa akin. Pero sa industry po, pangalawa po ako. Ang nauna po is 2016 November, February 1, 2017 ako. So, hindi naman po ganun katagal. Pero syempre, ako po kasi nag-start ako from scratch. Sila, nag-start talaga sila. Meron talaga silang pera. So, siguro, blessing po talaga ngayon na may ma... O baka may gusto po mag-invest dyan. Sabihin nyo lang po. Kaya <laughs> eh, open po talaga ako dyan. Kasi, this 2019 po talaga, plan, ito na po talaga yung uh, year talaga na nakalagay po talaga sa plano ko na expansion po talaga ito rin Kasi yung preparation po talaga pinagdaanan, hindi rin po biro yung R&D. Tsaka yung craftsmanship po talaga sa shoe, sa shoe rest na rin. Pwede yung kakausapin po lang kita mga mamaya ang abot mo. Kasi narinig ko po kanina sabi mo. Oh. Then, ayun po, hanggang sa dati, hindi rin po ako marunong paint kasi sobrang pangat po ng sulat ko. Hindi po ako magaling mag-drawing. Pero sabi po talaga nila pag pagtsatsagayin mo talaga. So, ganun po, ganun po. Hanggang sa ngayon, uh, di ba nag-Banila po ako? Bumalik po ulit ako ng Pasay. Yung nanay ko po kasi nakahanap ng bahay na magkatabi. So, doon sa tabi, doon ako sa tabi. So, magkatabi ko yung bahay po ngayon. Pero separate pa rin. <laughs> so, yun po. So, so far, yung, yung, mga, yung mga tao ko po, yung mga employee ko, alam po yun, may mga kanya-kanya po silang story. So, ako po kasi yung tao rin na hindi po ako nagbe-base sa education. So, ako basta ako maganda attitude mo, okay ka, honest ka sa akin, hindi ka gagawa masama. Kasi yung, yung skills na tuturo yun eh. Pero yung attitude, once na palpak na yun, mahirap po talaga yun. So, hindi na po ako nag-aaral ngayon. So, ang tinapos ko lang po is grade 12. Dahil hindi ko na po kaya yung oras, kasi grabe po yung kinakain na oras nung school. Well, it's October to midterms. Pero kaya ko naman po siya i-manage, kaso medyo magasos kasi hindi po ako yung gumagawa ng school work ko. Napagawa ko lang po talaga sa iba. Ay, totoo po yun, totoo po yun. Tapos, ah, uh, actually, pinapush ko nga po sila eh. Kasi, malaki yung pinabahay ko sa akin. Sabi ko, nakikita nyo ah. Kasi masipag kayo, so gawin nyo na. So, hanggang sa dumating po yung time na lumuwag po ulit yung oras ko. Kasi may manager na po ako so far. So far, kaya niya mag-operate na kahit na wala ako. So yun po talaga yung magiging goal ko talaga sa business na James Singer na maging autopilot talaga siya. Kasi marami po kong negosyo ng itayo. So hanggang sa yun din, nag-Shopee rin po ako. So so far, so good. Malakas po si Shopee. Pero ang tip ko lang po sa inyo, kung papasok po kayo ni Shopee, uh, better decide na mag-ads. Kasi medyo saturated na po talaga ngayon. Kasi halos lahat, lahat ng items nandun na sigurado pag magbibenta kami kaparehas ka po. So ayun po siya. So... Anong tanong po, di ba, yung what makes you unique? So, what makes me unique from my other competitors sa shoe, sa shoe cleaning industry is that na ako po talaga, pinagdaanan ko talaga yung from scratch. Then, alam ko po, uh, kampati ako sa sarili ko na kasi service, pare-parehas lang po eh. Pare-parehas lang kami. Nagkakatalo na lang po talaga yan sa nag-manage. So, ako, alam ko, mas maganding creativity ko kasi sa kanila. Kasi when it comes to age pa lang, So, marami po kong plano talaga. Sin, sobrang dami po talaga. This year talaga. Sobrang dami po. Napa, di ka, so, yeah. so, ayun na naman po. So, napashare lang din kasi ako. Kasi, namimiss ko na rin. Namimiss ko na rin po kasi magsalita. Kasi dati sa networking, madalas magsalita. Pero ngayon, hindi na sa sa'yo. Yun lang po. Thank you. So, ngayon, hindi na po siya normal. Diba? Ayun na maging normal. Mukha namang hindi nga. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll continue the discussion po after. So, we're gonna have a 10-minute break. Um, okay, so if you wanna go to the washroom or if you wanna talk to other people here, um, make make use of the time po. And I'll be back po after 10 minutes. Yay! Thanks.